Hey guys, so today what we're going to be looking into making is a, if you've ever played Stardust HD or a game which is more of an arcade style game where almost the points or the power ups might move towards your ship or your player um, slowly. I'm going to just give you an example of how we can do this so that could relate to any sort of game where you might pick power ups as I say or points. So, um, I'll just quickly mention that I will be getting back onto the survival series and that's going to be... Um, in the next week or so, I'll be looking into um, mining some stone and then being able to collect that and put it into your infantry. And then along with doing stuff like that. I'll give you an example of what we're going to create. So if I press play on my design, you can see that we get, if we get close within range of an object and we're looking at the particular object, it'll move towards us and we'll gain a particular score. So it's very helpful for an arcade style game. And I've had a few other tutorials that I wanted to, you know, sneak in here and there whilst I'm on the way doing it. Okay, so we're going to have three scripts today which are going to help us, um, you know, achieve this thing that we want to create. So one, we're going to have a score controller which is going to control the score of which we collect. Another is going to make sure that the box in this scene is going to move towards our player. And then we're going to have a ray cast which is going to detect the object and make sure that it can um, come after us you know when we actually are visible or when we're looking at it so it's it, it can vary you don't have to do the ray cast but i think it's a nice way to do it so you're looking at the points and then it'll come towards you so we'll start off and i'll mention that my box is it's just a cube that i've imported game object create other cube i've made sure i've got a, a quite a large box collider around it if you can see that there's my box collider around the object and then you want to make sure that the trigger on that box is t tagged or ticked as is trigger. So it will be able to act as a, uh, a collision. So we'll be able to collect the score. You want to make sure that you've got a first person controller or whatever you're using. And you make sure that's got a tag of player. You can add the tag in there. Okay, so what we want to start off by doing is right clicking on the project panel. Choosing create JavaScript. And we'll start by naming this score controller we'll open that up in mono develop this script is going to be really short i'll zoom in i'll get rid of the two functions that it gives us automatically i'll start by writing variable score as integer equal to zero with a semicolon then we're going to say function on gui with two brackets after two curly brackets below then we're going to say gui dot box open brackets rect open the bracket again say 10 across 10 down then we're going to say 100 length and say 20 in the y this is just for instance you can change those we'll add a comma we'll add two quotes then we'll add a plus and then we'll write in our variable score so really what this is doing is just drawing a gui rectangle in the position at 10 across 10 down 100 along 20 down so we're going to make a little sort of rectangular box and we're going to have the variable which is score inside it so what we'll do is i'll add that to my main camera score controller and then when we press play you'll notice that in that top corner we've got the gui with the variable inside now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this box is going to move towards our player so we'll create a new script and we're going to call this move towards or you can make name it whatever you want score movement however you want to name it so again we're going to open up in mono develop and then what we're going to do from here is i'll delete these functions again and whilst we'll say write variable target as type transform so we're going to have a target which is going to be our player which we want the box to move towards we're going to have a variable called speed and set that as a flow with the semicolon then we're going to have a variable main camera as type game object and that's just going to let us reference the scripts that are on the main camera then what we're going to do is we're going to have a private variable called move towards has that set as a boolean equal to false then we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to write function start two brackets two curly brackets below there and say that score script equals main camera so the 
variable that we had up here. Dot get component. Open brackets. Score controller. So all this is doing is we're setting a variable called score script. Um, making it look for the main camera and a component on the camera. One thing that we'll need to do is also make a private variable here. Call this score script and set it as type score controller. Then we're going to write ourselves a new function. So we're going to write a function called if visible. You can name this whatever you like, but it's just going to be to reference in the other script, if visible. So if um, we've actually looked at the um, box, we want it to be able to do something. So then we we'll want to say move towards is equal to true. Then what we'll do is we'll write function update, two brackets, two curly brackets below. And with inside those brackets, we're going to say that if move towards is equal to true close that up, add two curly brackets below, we'll say variable step equals speed times by time dot delta time with a semicolon, then we'll say transform dot position equals vector three dot move towards open brackets transform dot position comma transform sorry target dot position comma step with a close that up and add a semicolon so what that's doing here is if move towards is equal to true so if the function gets called and we are visible it's going to set the update function to true or the boolean to true we're going to we're setting a variable here that's going to be whatever we set as the speed originally. And we're going to have that multiplied by the time. So it's obviously going to make the thing move in a direction as long as we have the transform position equal to uh, the, the target's position that we're going to move towards with the step value. So it's really just using a transform command to tell it to move towards the player object that we want. We need to make sure that this transform is a lowercase. This transform is a lowercase because sometimes Unity might or MonoDevelop might change it for you. Then what we'll do below this update function, we'll write another function called on trigger enter because we want to be able to do something when the box is hits the player and we'll say call colon collider. Then we'll add two curly brackets below there. And we'll say score script like up here. So we set score script up there. We'll say score script dot score plus equals 10. Then we'll say move towards is equal to false because we don't want that boolean to be equal to false because we don't want to be anything moving in the background. Then we can write destroy open brackets game object close that up and add a semicolon so that's going to destroy our game object as soon as um, it we trigger the collision which is it going into the player it'll add 10 to the score so score script was looking for the script up here on the main camera and it's going to add plus equal to the score here and it'll change it on screen now we'll go back into unity and we're going to write the raycast so we can detect it and then once we've written that it'll all work nicely we'll have this is called score raycast then we'll open up in mono develop again if you don't know how to do a raycast you can see a few of my tutorials that show you how to write these so we're going to start off by writing variable ray length equal to 10 then I'm gonna say variable score item as type game object so that's the thing that's gonna um, actually be the object that we're looking for then we're gonna say function update in brackets two curly brackets below we'll say variable hit um, colon 
rare cast hit with a semicolon. Then we'll say variable FWD for forward. Then add a colon. Then we'll say transform dot transform direction. Now the first transform is lowercase and the second one which is transform direction is a capital. With both then we'll have open bracket vector 3 dot forward close that up add a semicolon then we'll say that if physics dot raycast open brackets transform this one's lowercase dot position comma fwd comma hit comma ray length close that up twice add two curly brackets below there then we'll say that if hit dot now I'm to develop change that the hit needs to be lowercase hit dot collider dot game object dot tag is equal to score so whatever tag we're going to have on the score we'll make sure that we then add two curly brackets below there and say that score item equals hit dot collider dot game object and close that up at a semicolon now again monovelop changed hit so that needs to be lowercase hit dot collider dot game object and then what we're going to say below there is that score item dot get component open brackets score or our script that's going to be called move towards and then close up the brackets and we'll say that if visible and then two brackets and a semicolon we'll save that one mistake I did make in the variable forward we need to make sure that that's actually an equal sign and not a colon then what we can do is on our box is we can add the move towards and then we're going to want to look for the game object which is main camera so we'll add the main camera in there we'll set the speed to about 10 we'll set the target as the first person controller then on our main camera we already have the score controller we also want to put the score raycast now what we can do here seeing as though we wrote it in the script I'll explain in a minute we don't have to add a um, game object in here because it will find it when we're using the raycast so we can have multiple now we'll just test this out so if we test it I can run towards the plane when we get into a certain distance you'll notice that I then collected the object and it is equal to 10 the score now so what we can also do is I could duplicate this box a lot of different times and you can notice that I can as long as I'm looking at a particular one I'll be able to collect the scores when I'm in range and looking at them and you could have several different scripts which control the amount of score which is given by a particular color so you could just have this script again which is for a red box which might give you 30 points but I'll quickly run through what we've got so we've got one script which is a score controller which is vari a variable that we set as zero in the beginning we did a simple GUI then in our second script which caused the box to move towards the player we've got the target which is the player that we want the speed at which we want it to travel and then the uh, main camera so we can set the actual um, script that we're going to be looking for later we have two private variables one a boolean which is called move towards so we can um, say when it should or shouldn't move towards the player we have a private variable called score script and score script is just there so I can write a variable without having to write get component score controller every time then in the start function we're looking at the score script we're finding the um, score controller we write a new um, function which is called if visible and if we call that in the other script we're going to set move towards equal to true 
and then in the update function we say that if it's true then we'll do something to transform its direction towards the target at a certain speed and then if um, our player hits that collider which is on the box will add 10 to our score will set move towards equal to false so then once it's equal to false it'll be able to do it again for other items and then we'll destroy the game object now on the rate score raycast for the main camera we do a length and looking for the object itself we do a raycast in a photo direction on the main camera and we're looking for the score which has um, a tag of score score then the score item which we set up here which we're looking for a game object we're saying that we're gonna find the name of the box which has hit dot collider dot game object so when we hit the collider on the game object it will give us the name of the actual item that we're looking for then what we'll say that when we're looking at that item we'll find the component this particular component which is called move towards which is our other script here and when we find that we'll set if visible we'll call this function which then makes move towards equal to true and seeing as that's equal to true then we do all the process that we ta I talked about um, just a little bit earlier so like I said is you can change all these elements up on the main camera you can change the ray length so you you can actually make it so it's a hundred so you can see it a lot further away so if I now play this they're starting to come towards me already because I can see from much further away and similarly with the speed of the particular objects we could set this on a per object basis so that moves at a speed of a hundred and the rest is slow obviously that was really quick you could barely see that but you can change that on a per object basis depending how um, precedent you want all the items to be. So thanks again for watching and I hope you liked the tutorial, hope you learned something from it and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.